Hello YouTube, this is American Lefty, aka Pinoy12273, and I just want to talk to you guys about what has been going on for the past three years since I last uh, posted a video. Well, I just want to say that uh, I've gained, when was the last time? I was only like 150 pounds and now I'm like 190. I've gained 40 pounds of muscle since then. I know my face looks a little bigger now, and uh, but I've been working out. You know, it took me took a while, but you know I've been working hard and working out a lot. And as far as NBA 2K, I'll try to be back next year on NBA 2K24. Now I'm gonna be 30 years old, so I'm I've been kind of outgrowing uh, video games lately. I don't play as much anymore. As I used to, but I'll be back for NBA 2K24 at the age of 29 and 30 years old. Right now I'm 29. It's been three years since I posted the video on YouTube when I was 26. And my 20s have been great, you know. I, I've been making money. I've had four jobs since then. Um... Yeah, and I'm about to work, work out again tonight. And as for golf, uh, I'm still doing it. But uh, I have a, a very severe knee injury uh, that's been holding, holding me back from the sport for the past five months. You know, I've been playing, practicing, even through this injury. But I just went to the, the physical therapist and my physician. They said that... Um, it could be a cartilage tear on my right knee, so there will be a lot of time for me to play uh, uh, NBA 2K24 while this thing heals up. And then I'll post more of uh, uh, golf vlogs once my knee injury heals up. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I just got to figure out how to do the play now online on NBA 2K24. Uh, probably gonna buy a new headset because the headset I have right now has a lot of static so yeah look at my face oh my gosh I have cheeks now <laughs> and I'm getting old uh, but I'm fortunate enough to have had these four jobs but the reason why I left all four of them because I want to pursue my dreams and that's to be a, probably a either a golfing coach or a golfing pro golf player it doesn't have to be on the PGA tour it doesn't have to be a Canadian tour it doesn't have to be Asian tour all those top tier tours I can play in the mini tours um, if I play solid enough and there's a saying if you can't shoot under par don't turn pro I'm still an amateur guys and the way I've been shooting there was a couple of rounds I shot under par and a couple of rounds I shoot over par. And I mean, most rounds I shoot over par still. And my handicap went from scratch to a five handicap because of injuries throughout my career in golf. But I'm very passionate about the game and very passionate about life as well. You know, I might be even getting a new job that doesn't even re relate to golf while I'm dealing with this injury because I have a degree now. I graduated with a Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the last time I made a video, I was still working on my college degree. I graduated. I attended the commencement last year and... Two years ago, I, I finished all the classes. So, yeah, that's what's been going on with me. And more vlog, more videos to come. Now, this video, the second part of this video is about, you know, um, how to be resilient over struggles like I've been going through since the pandemic. Um even though I've had four jobs, but I've been in and out of injuries in golf, and it's been tough in golf. You know, I haven't played much in the past three years um, due to injury, but my practice sessions are all right. But, you know, 
So here's how to be resilient in life when struggles happen. And then this, and over the past uh, uh, three years, you know, it's been like that. So here we go. First off, always think there's a positive outlook in life, even through adversity. And that's the only thing on how to be resilient and never give up, you know. There's always a solution to every problem, guys. No matter how bad it seems, always stay optimistic about yourself and others around you, even your enemies. You know, if you have enemies like I have had in my lifetime, don't let them bother you. You know, stay resilient, even though people say you're not good enough or anything like that. And whoever tells you odds this, odds that, you know, like uh, many people told me about odds of making it to this or odds of becoming rich or odds of becoming this and that, you know. Fortunately, I have money now, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot, guys. It's not a lot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's how you be resilient in life. You know, never give up, never surrender on your dreams and goals. And no matter, and a part of success in life is beating the odds, guys. You have to beat the odds to succeed in your dreams, guys. Whether they're even becoming an artist, you know, like my cousin, uh, he, I think he's about to quit his job to become a, and, uh, what is it, animation, for animation. He's pursuing his dreams, and I told him, hey, you can do it, you know, no matter what the odds say, you know, you can do it, you know. So that's it for this video, and I'll upload it again tomorrow, all right? Another advice video or just vlogging about, you know, how my life's going. So take it easy, guys.